Hey guys, it's Firelungs, and welcome back to a new Let's Play I'm going to be doing. I know I've been gone for quite some time, but I decided I'll uh, pick this up again. Why not try it, you know? And as you can see, we are playing Dominions 4, and we're going to be trying one of the new races uh, added in the recent patch to Dominions 4. And this race is called Zibalba, I believe. And we're going to be playing a middle area. Uh, in the... Uh, Alright. I'll give you, uh, you can pause the video and read this whole caption thing. I don't feel like, uh, reading it. But anyways, uh, Zibalba is basically the, uh, bat people who you, the Zots that you find in the caves sometimes, and they're really crappy, but in this, they're actually not too bad. But in the middle era, actually, after the stars fallen and destroyed Atlantis and everything, it flooded the caves of the Zots and all that nice stuff. Uh, you can read that in the, uh, the description of the people. Um, I'm gonna do this guy. This guy. Nah, I don't really want any blood. You know what? I'll just go with this guy. There you go. Always like some nature and some water with my guys. We're gonna make him this, this. Yeah, we'll actually put him into imprisoned and increase our order by one and this by one. Alright, so our god will be named <sighs> Fishman, the second. Let me put the, put the Roman numerals there. Alright, so Fishman, the second. We are going to have, increase that, reinvents our rear, Oh, uh, we can do that. This. Throw ascension. Make that 8. And boost that up to 8. And maybe 1 level 2. Why not, right? Uh, we're playing on a medium map, so I don't know how that's going to work out. So we'll see. Um, standard research. Everything looks good. Renaming is allowed. And if you want to be renamed after a general, just type it in the comments. And I will do my best to suit you. You may not get exactly what you want, but uh, if you wanna if you wanna re request a certain kind of general, I will see if that uh, position is open for you. Uh, hate this part of it, but it must be done. Oh, here we go. Almost done here. I guess I can start talking about why I was gone for so long. I actually joined the army and uh, went through base training and everything, and I'm done with all that, and I'm now at my duty station. Uh, I'm actually in my barracks, which is very, very small, but I can, uh, fits, in, fits my computer and uh, all my other few things I have, so it works out great for me. Um... Actually, I haven't, I haven't really been on the computer in like four months. That's how weird it feels right now to actually be on the computer. <laughs> but uh, I did get to go see my family for the holidays, or for Christmas at least. So that was really nice. Got to see them and uh, see my friend that I'm very close to um, who lives up in Iowa. And uh, not really doing much for the New Year's. Probably just going to chill. Uh... I mean, what are you guys going to do for New Year's? Might as well tell me what fun things you're going to be doing, because I'm not going to be doing jack shit. But, uh... Well, actually, hmm, I don't know. I may figure out a way to party. But, not too hard, because I, I still got work to do, right? Army never sleeps. Oh my god, how much longer do we have to find the tune the start positions? I'll probably put an annotation in uh, showing where the video actually starts. But uh, that's cool. Uh, start, damn it.
I may start doing other gameplay videos, I'm not sure yet. Um, I will be trying to upload this as often as I possibly can, but I'm not sure, depending on what I need to be doing at the time. Um, like, I have to go get my car registered and everything, that should be fun, I have to go get checked and everything. A lot of stuff I gotta do with my car. So should should be a bit. I gotta go get things stitched onto my rucksack. Oh, and here we go. Time to start. You know that crap. Alright, so we're gonna start with uh, the first episode talking about the units. Okay, so we're gonna start with the actual just basic units here. So we have the Much Militia. The Much are descendants of the Atlanteans that invade the Zibalban caverns after the Great Floods. They resemble toads and have become known as toadmen, although they have some fish-like traits, as well as the magic of the star that fell into the ocean and flooded Zibalba transformed the Atlanteans, or perhaps it was the will of the awakening god that manifested itself. However, the much have become more toad-like since they settled in the flooded caverns, and some have evolved other traits previously not found in Atlantis. The much use primitive armors, the coral used by their Atlantean ancestors doesn't, gro doesn't groan, in the flooded caves, that probably doesn't grow. Uh, with recent contact, the trade with Mictlan and other surface-dwelling men, metal-scaled armors have been adopted. All right, so these are the cheapy cheap units. So, but uh, they have amphibian, swamp survival, and dark vision. So that's always also ugh, always good. The protection is lower than average. They have a few more hit points than average, uh, but pretty weak on the attack and defense. Morale is low. Precision's low, they're armed with a spear and leather. So that's your basic, basic, base, basic unit. Uh, you get the much dart thrower. So you, uh, these are going to be your ranged guys, of course, um, with obsidian darts. Uh, uh, yes, alright. Anyways, uh, they have two more hit points than the normal little much militia. So that's good. Their defense skill is a bit higher, and so is their attack skill. Um, they have a dagger and obsidian uh, darts. How many? They have four of these. All right. Well, they're not. They're not too bad. Not too bad. They hire a few of them. So you have the much warrior, who has 14, 10, 12, 10. So standard, standard unit. Uh, a bit more health than normal. Um, may not. May recruit a few of those. Not sure. And then we got the another much warrior, just w armed with an obsidian club sword. Uh, same basic stats, except different weapon, I believe. Uh, and then you have another much warrior. This is just a mut the spear armed warrior with a uh, bronze hauberk instead of uh, the leather hauberk that the uh, lesser warriors cost. Um, just six more resources more, but I think the protection would be worth it. And then you have basically the same thing for the other Much Warrior, just with uh, the fucking bronze. And then you have the Chalk Much. And these are the the sacred units for these guys. Crazy little, like, uh, Abyssian looking toad kind of dudes. And they have poisonous skin, what the? Alright. So, like, your poison dart frog kind of guys. That's pretty cool, though. I'm not gonna lie. So you got the, your dart throwers, and then you got your obsidian club dudes. And they have magic weapons. That's paralyzing poison. That's cool. They have... They have paralyzing poison, too, on their poison darts. That's cool. And then you have a woe much, which is like the uh, shamblers of the uh, Atlanteans. So uh, these are your older, much wiser fighters. Uh, they have an obsidian blade with a magical attack to it. That's, that's actually pretty cool. So since it's an obsidian blade, it has a magical attack to it. And these guys are also sacred. Um, you have the Much Jungle Warrior, which are the guys that uh, moved into the jungles above the caves uh, instead of deciding to live in the caverns. So these are different color toad-looking guys. They're more uh, suited for the jungle. This is why they have four survival. Um, and they're also stealthy. So they're, uh, they're used to just hiding around and these are the uh original uh like inhabitants of zibalba they uh, are zot's warriors that were uh, conquered by the much uh after the star fell and so you got the zot's war warrior armed with the obsidian club and uh one armed with a lance 
The only reason I would see in hiring these guys is they're stealthy and flying. Uh, they are cold-blooded, but they and they also have a patrol bonus because they have poor eyesight. But anyways, that is the uh, infantry units for the Z Balbins in the middle era. And we can move on to the commanders. So we have our Much a Jaw. Uh, this is the Toad King. He has 80 leadership. He is sacred with a priest level of one. Uh, he has a uh, magic damage obsidian blade. Ugh. Sorry about that. Very high hit points, uh, 31, which is very good. Uh, your strength is 17, 12, 10. Very good unit, very good. For especially for a uh, kind of a typical commander, I guess. And then you got your uh, Ah It. And if I'm saying these wrong, I'm sorry, uh, but I don't really care. I'll say them how I want. Uh, so these look like they're probably going to be our researchers, unless, nah. They got, so we got water and death, and then water and earth. Okay. Is this guy, a, nope, this guy isn't a priest. This is a priest, what's the, so these guys are cheaper, so I'm probably going to be hiring uh, these to research for us. The ma, the much kahul, yep, that's how I'm going to say it. Uh, they have two water, one earth, one death, and a chance, 100% chance for water, earth, death, or uh the uh, life, nature, my bad, nature. I was temporary brain fart there. Anyways, they are priest level one with the research ability of 15, sacred, amphibious, and they have the gift of water breathing. That's really cool. Um, it's not like we really need that though, with most of our units being amphibious anyways. Unless I wanted to bring some of the zots underwater with me. Um, they have 28 hit hit points, 16 strength, uh, very good uh, or decent leader. Uh, plus zero to their leadership, which is all right, I guess. How much is this? They have plus one leadership. That's very good. So and then you have the chalk much assassin. So these are you get assassins too with the uh, uh, Z Balbins in the middle area here with uh, your Bissian type of looking assassin guy uh, with the poisonous skin. He's this is going to be a very good assassin just due to the fact that he has poisonous skin and the uh, magic damage uh, poisoned obsidian blade. And the poison darts. So I'm gonna. I may be using a lot of these guys. Not sure yet though. Then you have the Bakab, which is your big, big bad leader dude with uh, 120 leader, and he also has uh, 40 undead and 25 magical. So he's very, he's very good at leading other units too, with a plus two morale bonus. He has three water, two earth, one death, and a 100% chance for one of these, and 10% chance for one more of these. So that's very good with a priest level of 2 um, and a research of 19 he's also sacred so that's always good and then the Kamazots uh, so the pa they were once powerful uh, sorcerers but after the much came in they started just taking over things so they they decided to follow them these are your blood magic guys if you want to dabble in that with these people um, they're very good at blood searching uh, they have two death, one blood, and they have a 100% chance for one of these. So you have the potential of getting two blood. Um, they are stealthy like all Zots, and uh, very uh, useful for blood hunting if you want to dabble in that. Then you have the Scout, which is again your basic Scout, not not impressive. Uh, the Batab, which is a chieftain of the forest people. So uh, if you want to role play, you can say like, hey, these guys lead the the brown warriors and everything uh, you know the usual stuff okay and then you Zats Batab which are the uh, leaders ah see these guys uh, after the Zots got kicked out of the caves they can move to the forest right and uh, so these guys are kind of allied with the jungles much much so they help each other out so that's that's very cool and then you have the way which is uh, another blood magic guy he is not good at researching so you do not want him as a researcher oh what the fuck is that oh fire my bad just looked weird on the picture but anyways um, so you have a 10% chance of getting another one of these so you're probably just gonna be sticking with this um, 
He is a shapeshifter, so he can turn into a jaguar. That's very cool. Uh, he's blind. He has a supply bonus of 20 because of the nature mate or being a nature mage. He is poison resistant. So I could see this guy. You just be his. He'd just be a blood, blood hunter, of course, and a, I mean a shapeshifter if you want him to be. Uh, I'm probably not going to be dealing with him too much. But anyways, that is the uh, unit for. Oh well, I guess I can show you. Uh, there's special summons. The summon jaguar toads. So they have the jaguar toads. They have a jade serpent, and summon monster toads. So huge toads for the uh, toad people, and then you can summon a ba Balaam and a Chalk. And that is it for summons. Alteration should be the, about the same. Uh, blood magic. So break the first soul. Uh, practice a magic tradition that teaches that a person has four souls. Uh, this spell damages the soul of blood, making the target bleed profusely from bodily orifices. So basically, you give them Ebola. Excellent. Gotta love Ebola. So you can give the gift of the first soul too. Practice in the magic. Four souls. The spell strengthens the blood soul of the target, making him regenerate wounds. So this is the good version Ebola. This is the good Ebola. Got it. And the good thing is that these only cost one blood. So any of your casters can uh, cast it. Uh, that is the only two special blood summons that you get with that uh, evocation. Probably, which, where are they at? Alteration. I know there's more. Hold on. Just give me a second. Here we go. So you can break the third soul. Third soul. Practice magic. Teaches that a person has four souls. This spell damages the soul of breath, making the target fatigued. So that'll make them tired. Uh, you need an air mage for that, uh, earth mage for this one. Uh, spell damages the soul of bone, making the target permanently limp. So basically like breaking them their knee or something. Uh, and this permanently curses the target with bad luck. Ethereal beings do not cast shadows and are rarely affected by spells. Alright, that's cool. So you can affect all four of the souls. And then you can gift these souls, strengthen the soul of breath, making the target shake off exhaustion. Uh, second soul. Strengthens the bone, making the him less vulnerable to blunt damage. So if you're facing a nation with a lot of uh, blunt damage, and then you just wanted to send in a giant tank of a commander, um, you could have a guy blessing him with, uh, or giving him uh, enchants with these. Uh, strengthens the shadow, soul of the target, giving him luck in battles. So that's good. Luck is always good. And it looks like all they have for special stuff. But, uh, yeah, that is the Z Balbins in the middle era. I will see you guys next time in the next episode where we'll actually start conquering stuff. But anyways, I will see you until then. Later.